Hey everyone, thanks for joining us back on the channel. After Sim Update 7, a lot of people have been having FPS drop issues, as well as a lot of stuttering, myself included. So in today's episode, we're going to take a look at some settings we can tweak to get some better results. So if you're in that same boat, then stick with us, because we're going over that today in this episode of 2020 Flight Simmers. Alright, so the first thing we're going to take a look at are the NVIDIA control panel settings. Now, if you are unaware of how to get to this menu, all you need to do is go right down here in the lower right hand corner and you want to hit on this show hidden icons. Then it's going to bring up all the applications that are running, find the NVIDIA application, right click, and then click on control panel. Once you do that, this pretty little menu is going to show up, but it may not be on the correct screen. So you want to come right over here to the left menu and then tick on the manage 3D settings. Now, once you do that, it's going to bring up this pretty little box here with all the different settings for the NVIDIA graphics card. Now, if you've messed around with some of this, you may want to hit that restore button, hit apply, and it will change everything back to factory. Next, we're going to tick on the program settings and we are gonna change some specific settings just for Microsoft Flight Simulator. So after you tick on the program settings, you wanna go right here and find Microsoft Flight Simulator in your applications. Now, you can simplify this by ticking on this where it says show only programs found on this computer. So that'll probably save you a lot of time. Now, once you get the Microsoft Flight Simulator up, now we're gonna come down to the bottom here and just change a couple of these settings. The first one that we're going to change is the anti-aliasing mode and we're going to change that to enhance the application setting. Now when you do that sometimes I have found that you will have a couple other things that are going to turn on here. Now when you turn on the enhance application setting you're going to see that this anti-aliasing setting has also come on underneath of that. And you just want to go down there and just turn that back to the application controlled setting because we have that control in the application. Next, underneath of that, we want to change the anti-aliasing transparency, and we just want to set that to multi-sample. So the next setting that we're going to come down to is the low latency mode. Now, some people may have mixed feelings on this. I tried using it with and without, and I've gotten much better results when I used with it. So when you tick on the menu, you've got three different options, either off, on, or ultra. If you're not going to be using off, then you've got to turn it on in the ultra mode. And if you read up on it, you'll understand why. I'm not going to get into all the technical stuff. Next, we're going to go down to the power management mode. And a lot of people may have already set this to prefer maximum performance. If you haven't, go down there and change that to prefer maximum performance. Next, we're going to come all the way down to the vertical sync. Now, some people may be using VSync in Microsoft Flight Sim and others are not. I was using VSync in the past because it gave me great results, but now when I've got VSync on inside the sim, I get a lot of stuttering. So what you need to do is turn the vertical sync in the fast mode. The thing that a lot of people are going to notice that when they turn the VSync off inside the simulator, you get a lot of tearing that occurs. Now, when we turn this vertical sync on fast, this will clear up any of that tearing effect. Once we have all of these set to where we need to, you come right down here to apply and give that a big old left click. Now, of course, I've got Microsoft Flight Simulator running here in the background. And while you're making these changes here, do not have the simulator running or the changes will not take effect. So just keep that in mind. I've already set all these, so that's why I've got it running in the background. All right, so now let's take a look at Microsoft Flight Simulator, and I'm just gonna kinda show the settings that I, I'm using currently, and I'm not really gonna go too much into detail, but I did test a lot of these settings, and I will say that not many of them made that big of a difference. The only one that really impacted FPS was the terrain level of detail. So if you can suffer with a little less detail in the terrain, you will have much better FPS. In any case, let's go down the list here and you can take a look at my settings that I have. Also the render scaling, some people may say, well, you've got that up on 120. I've cranked that all the way up to 130 and back down to 100 and I saw no noticeable FPS drop 
until I got to around 130. So I just leave that right at 120 and good to go. The DX11 version, of course, a lot of people have been having issues with the DX12, so, so I just leave that and DX11 as well. Scrolling through the bottom here, you can take a look at all the different settings that I have. And again, I've tested multiple different combinations, and I, I will say that most of these settings really didn't change a whole heck of a lot when it came to FPS. Now, most of the settings here at the bottom, I keep in the off position. They really don't do much for me anyway. All right, so that's about it, folks. I hope this was informative and maybe this helped your FPS a little bit, or maybe it just helped some of the stuttering issues that you were having. In any case, I want to thank everybody for joining us here on today's episode of 2020 Flight Simmers. If anybody has any questions, please post those down below in the comments section, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. And while you're down there, make sure you hit that subscribe button and tick that little bell. You don't want to miss any future episodes. If this video did help you out today, smash on that thumbs up button. It is greatly appreciated. Well, to all my flight simmer friends around the world, keep the blue side up. And we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody.